from Fly, Ohio and Buffalo, New York to Pig, Kentucky and Western Under Lizard, here are 21 rural locations with animal names. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Beaver City, Nebraska. While the locations on our list have animal-related names, not all of them were necessarily named for animals. But this small city in the Cornhusker state was named directly for the furry industrial rodents. Founded in 1872, its name was inspired by the Beaver Creek, which contained an abundance of the animals. Macedon Township, Michigan. The prehistoric creatures were distantly related to modern elephants and went extinct about 10,000 years ago. Located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the township is named for the ancient behemoths. Their bones were uncovered while sinking a mine shaft. It's also possible that Macedon was used for describing the huge amount of iron ore at the site. Those animals could weigh up to 24,000 pounds, or electric metric tons, so using Macedon was also a slang adjective for huge, which would have been valid. Pig, Kentucky, located about 21 miles or 34 kilometers from Bowling Green, is where you'll find this unincorporated community. You might think that Port Sign moniker is a reference to pig farms in the area. Actually, the name was chosen after townspeople who wouldn't agree on what to call the place. The story goes that a resident noticed a small porker in the road and suggested the name Pig. The residents liked the sound of that and the name stuck. Man, West Virginia. It might be nice to think that this town was named for humans. And in a way, it sort of was. With fewer than 800 residents, this place in Logan County was named for the 19th century West Virginia bureaucrat named Ulysses Hitchman. The name was also taken from the last syllable of his surname hence Man, West Virginia. Sturgeon, Pennsylvania. The southwestern part of this state is not necessarily where you'd find the sturgeon, but the fish do inhabit the waters of the Keystone State. Three species are found in Pennsylvania as they return to spa in the Delaware River. Fly, Ohio. Flies can have a lifespan of less than 30 days, and that brevity apparently inspired the name of this community in Jackson Township. Residents chose that name because the community wasn't expected to last too long, Actually, a post office was in operation there from 1886 up until 1995. Fly would also be a reference to the Wright brothers. Wilbur and Orville were Ohio natives, generally credited with inventing and flying the first aircraft. Possum Grape, Arkansas Located in Jackson County, Arkansas, this community seems to bear the name of the marsupial as well as a fruit. But that's kind of a misnomer. There are fruit-bearing vines in Arkansas called possum grapes, and that is the basis of the town's name. But for 20 years, the residents were divided as to whether it should be called possum or grape. A compromise was reached when everyone agreed on possum grape. Actually, if the town was named for the marsupial, it should be possum grape. Possums are native to Australia. Hippo, Kentucky. Why was a town in the southern U.S. named for a huge dangerous beast? Actually, it wasn't. It was named for a local resident known as B. Madison Hippocraft, but his nickname had nothing to do with hippopotamuses. Hippo was a southern slang term for hypochondriac. Apparently, Mr. Kraft was known to complain excessively about his health. How do you think they pronounce hypochondriac? Porcupine, South Dakota. No doubt, this is the most prickliest name on the list. Located in the southwestern part of the state, most historians think it was named for Porcupine Butte, it's a mountain summit located on Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. However, Porcupine Butte wasn't directly named for the rodents either. The name refers to the prickly pine trees growing here. Anaconda, Montana. This one sounds like a town from the Wild West, but its name has more to do with copper than it does with the big constrictor snake. It was the location of a huge mining operation in the 1880s, and one of the mines were known as the Anaconda. The town's founder wanted to use the name Copperopolis, but it had already been registered. Instead, they went with Anaconda, naming it for the mine and the smelter. At one time, the Anaconda Mining Company was one of the largest trusts in the US. Like the snake, maybe they put the squeeze on their competition. Worms, Nebraska. When you see worms, you automatically think of creepy crawlies. Like some other locations on our list, this wasn't named for the wildlife, most sources think it was named for the city in Germany, spelt like Worms. But it's more properly pronounced Worms. It may have also been a nickname for a Roman emperor. Number 10, Worms, Germany. Since we already mentioned the name of Worms in Nebraska, it was probably inspired by this German city, so let's take a closer look at it. Like we said, it's pronounced Worms. 
by 14 BC, it was occupied by Romans and later served as a court by Charlemagne. Today, it's an industrial hub and is famed for its wineries. We couldn't find a direct connection to Worms though, but non-German speakers might find the name of a 16th century political assembly interesting. It was called the Diet of Worms, which probably appears far more strange than it was. Number 9. Alligator, Mississippi Situated in the western area of the state, this town is named for Alligator Lake, which once contained the population of the Big Reptile. The name of this location almost sounds like the animal's scientific name. Did you know the common American gator is identified as Alligator Mississippianus? Number 8. Washington State, USA Situated in the Pacific Northwest, the 42nd U.S. state contains many locations with the names of animals. But as we noted earlier, not all the places on our list were named for animals. For example, Tiger Washington was established in 1899 when a man named George Tiger constructed a river landing there. White Swan is located on the Yakima Indian Reservation and was named for Chief White Swan. Elk Washington was named for the animal as was White Salmon, a species that is now extinct. The small town of Cougar is named for the wild cat. Cougars also serve as a mascot for the Washington State College football program. Number 7. View Safala, Northern Pakistan This location is also known as Alexandria Bucephalus, and that might offer you a hint to its origins. Bucephalus is one of the most legendary horses from antiquity. His master was Alexander the Great, who was the only one who could tame the steed without breaking him. Bucephalus was Alexander's charger and was famed for his ferocity and fearlessness in battle. When his beloved horse went missing, Alexander was prepared to level an entire country unless the animal was returned. Bucephalus died on the battlefield in 326 BC and Alexander honored his horse by constructing a city in his memory. Historians say that Bucephalus probably stood east of the Indus River in modern day Pakistan. Number 6. Buffalo, New York One of the best known examples of a city named for an animal is this location in Upper State, New York. Most historians claim the city was actually named for a nearby body of water called Buffalo Creek. But it's entirely possible that it was named for the animal, whose range may have extended into the western area of the state. That being the case, a more accurate term for the city would have been used as Bison, New York. Buffalo are indigenous to Africa and Southeast Asia. Or are we being too picky again? Number 5. Chicken, Alaska There are very few towns that have survived the gold rush era in Alaska. This is one of them. Gold miners settled in the late 19th century and it has always had an extremely low population. Less than 20 people inhabit the remote place on an annual basis. Why was it named Chicken though? It wasn't supposed to be. The area contained a large amount of birds called ptarmigans. That name was suggested for the community's name, but the spelling of Patargman was never agreed upon. So to avoid embarrassment, they instead went with chicken. One might wonder if Targamans taste like chicken. Number 4. Lion City, Southeast Asia The famous city of Singapore doesn't sound like its name for an animal. Well, you have to do some linguistic detective work to find the connection. Singapore is taken from a Malay word that was used to derive from the Sanskrit term Singapura, which means Lion City. Experts suggest that the city had many names dating from the 2nd century AD. Singapura anglicized to Singapore and was adopted by the time in the 14th century. Number 3. Western Under Lizard, England Located in the West Midlands, it's a civil parish named for a nearby hill. Weston Under Lizard is so named to distinguish it from Weston upon Trent and the village of Weston. That's a lot of Westons. But where does a lizard part of the name come in? It may have to do with that nearby hill. According to one source, a leper colony was actually once located beneath it. Due to that stigma, the hill was derisively named the Lizard, hence Western Under Lizard. Do you know any other explanations for the name? Let us know in the comment section. Number 2. Turkey, Western Asia The country isn't really named for the bird, but there is a connection. According to other sources, the English name Turkey means Land of the Turks. The modern spelling dates to at least the 18th century. We found a couple of theories about the name Turkey and it was applied to the large birds native to the Americas. When Europeans first encountered them in the New World, they were misidentified as the guinea fowl imported by Turkish merchants to Europe. They were nicknamed turkey birds or Indian turkeys since they originated in India. The name of the North American bird was later shortened to turkey. Another theory says that Middle Eastern traders imported the birds were called turkey merchants because they operated in the Ottoman Empire. And number 1. Dinosaur, Colorado This town is located in the northwestern part of the state and is often noted for its unusual name. 
but that's only one of several names that the town has had in its history. For a long time, it was known as Baxter Springs, named for the town's owners. Then it was known as Artesia due to the water that accompanied the oil boom of the 1940s. The current name was adopted for a very logical reason. The community is situated close to Dinosaur National Monument, located on the border of Colorado and Utah. Fossils of dinos, including the Allosaurus and also the Deinonychus, have been excavated here. Whoa, now that was a cool video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.